MMA UK, Abdul Ahad Patel. I'm here with Johnny Bryant from Children Free Fighters. Johnny, you're fighting on Battle Arena, October the 16th. Pro debut. How's it going? How are you feeling? Yeah, man, I'm gassed. Can't wait to get out there. Been looking forward for this for a long time. So, yeah, it's been a long time in, in the running. And, um, yeah, just looking forward to it. I'm going to smash it. Nice. So, 5 and 2 amateur? Uh, now it's a bit more than that. I think it's 7 and 2. 7 and 2. See, my, my knowledge is Poor record, great there. Poor research there. Poor research. <laughs> that topology for you. <laughs> yeah, it's So, tough. good pedigree amateur. Last fight, 2019? Yeah, just before lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Um, so two years out, how are you feeling? How do you prepare for something two years ahead? Um, just treat it like normal, really. Um, obviously, it's a bit harder getting back into it. Just drop down the lockdown weight, but um, but yeah, no, just 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 treat it like a normal camp, really. Obviously, it's my first pro one, so working for five rounds, the five minute rounds rather than three, so that's a bit of a bit of a change. And obviously, working the elbows and stuff in there, but um, but yeah, just treat it like normal, really. Um, obviously, do a bit more cardio, a bit more kind of like day sessions and stuff, but yeah, just. Just what I normally do is quite do. And how are you adapting to that five rounds? Obviously, elbows, knees in the mix now. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel, I feel I've got like good quite cardio normally. So three three minute rounds at, at Ami was always a bit of a breeze, really. Um, I always felt like I could do that and, and more. So the, the, the times are not um, not much different. And obviously, I'm a bit of a grappler anyway. So elbows probably help me if anything. Yeah. Um, especially because I like to kind of like fight inside the guard sometimes. So it's probably good like my elbows breaking up things. And so yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's a nice little change really. That feels good. Feels good, feels good bringing the elbows in. And so October the 16th, you will fight in that bantamweight? Uh, no, it'd be flyweight. Flyweight, oh, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a change, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because obviously I normally fight bantam um, yeah. for uh, for army. But um, obviously with the, with the pro, you've got a day before weigh-in, so I've got a chance to lose a bit of weight and obviously put it back on again for the fight, so yeah. Okay, okay. And is that something you've obviously practised in before fight beforehand? Uh, no, it's the first time I've had to cut weight, really. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a change. I, I'm, normally I can get to that about 60 anyway, so it's only an extra few kilos, obviously like water weight and stuff. So obviously I've never done that before, but I've got, got some experienced experience guys in the gym, so that'll talk me through it and obviously they'll, they'll be there to help me through it. Yeah, and speaking of experienced fighters, you've got the likes of like Mario, Lawrence, um, you've got the Young Brothers, you've got the Fig Lap Brothers, you've got good old Vlad as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got some decent boys within the, the within Trojan Free Fighters. How are they, you know, enhancing your, your game for the professional youth? Oh, loads. Um, you know, like you say, you've got guys like Mario, the Figs, um, Chris Ashley. So they're experienced pros there, so they obviously don't know what they're doing. Um, you know, they're always there to push you and bring you on. And obviously everyone kind of like brings this other on. We're all kind of like really good high level here. So yeah, it's yeah, it's really good. Good stuff. And obviously speaking of brothers, you've got your younger brother as well. Yes. Jack. How, how's Jack getting along? Yeah, he's going good. Um, he's got a fight the week before mine. He's fighting on uh, Cage Warriors Academy up in, in, in Wales. So yeah, he's going good, looking good, looking sharp. So he's going to go on and smash that as well, I think. Nice, nice. And um, do you know much about your opponent? I've had a little bit of a look about, uh, look about him. Yeah. Um, he looks like a bit of a kind of a grappler, BJJ style. Yeah. Um, he's won a few, a few um, army fights for submission. Um, I just tend to focus on my game really, and just kind of worry about what I'm doing rather than my opponent. Yeah, yeah. And any predictions for the fight? Just going to go out there and grind it. Just going to yeah. go out there. You know, when, as soon as you get punched in the face, your game plan always changes. So, you know, we'll just, just adapt and overcome really, see what happens. Nice, man. And so, you know, you're going into your fight first pro. Um, what what's the nerves like going into the professionals now? Um, not really nervous, mate. To be honest, um, yeah. I've been doing martial arts since I was a little kid, so it's just another just another ring on the ladder. Really, just got to keep making that step up. Yeah, just another bout. Then yeah, yeah, just another and... just another war, mate. Okay, okay. And so, how is training? No injuries? No, I've been good for this camp. To be fair, no, yeah. no niggles, nothing. Really, I'm feeling really fresh. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, feeling good. So can we expect a, a new level of Johnny Bryan? Yeah, yeah, man, definitely, definitely. All right, my man, well, um, I'll let you go because I know you're in a rush. Um, I'm glad training's going well, going good. Hopefully both fighters come out healthy and all the best on the 16th. I'll see you in Thanks, man. Cheers.